this is the lecture one and the final lecture in this series of the transformers and we'll look into potential transformer and current transformer in this lecture it is seen that the power measurement systems for high voltage systems usually op operate in the range of 0 to 120 volts and have current rating close to 5 amperes. To meet these requirements, voltage and current at this range needs to be provided. This is done by current transformer and potential transformer. The power system voltage can be in the kilowatt range, kilovolt range and kiloampere range and it is not possible for the measurement e equipments to be made to measure made to sustain such kind of current and voltage so the equipments are usually small and need a low voltage input and to do that you have the potential transformer these are accurate step down transformer they supply voltmeter in the range of 0 to 150 volts so these transformers are mainly used to measure the voltage and to supply the voltmeter in the range of 0 to 150 volts and the next kind of transformer is a current transformer. These are used to supply low range ammeter to measure high voltage AC current. Usually this transformer has large number of secondary turns and a few turns of primary uh, connected. So the primary is a few turns which is connected in series to the line on which the current is to be measured and the voltage is stepped up on the secondary while the volt when the voltage is stepped up the current is usually stepped down by the same ratio and it can be easily measured by the ammeter which is a low uh, current rated equipment also considering the ammeter in this case is calibrated such that it can measure the current considering the step down so if you look at this is a diagram of a typical potential transformer so there is a transformer core and the primary is connected directly across the supply lines so it will measure the line to line voltage and it is again stepped down so that the primary has a large number of turns in this case or a few thick turns and the secondary will have a fewer terms, turns usually very less as compared to the primary and it will step down the voltage and it is measured by the voltmeter and if you look at this typical circuit diagram of a potential transformer and the values have been of the secondary side has been transferred the to the primary V1 side. V1 by V2 in this case of this transformer will be always greater than 0 and N1 by N2 will be greater than 0 while N2 by N1 will be less than 0 for these transformers. R1 X1 is a primary winding resistance and reactance and R2 and X2 is a secondary winding resistance and reactance which is transferred to the primary side and N1 by N2 is the transformation ratio and XM is the magnetizing current equivalent and the burden is the equipment which is being connected which is typically a voltmeter if you look at this diagram this is a typical diagram of an ammeter it is connected in series with the supply line on which the current is to be measured and the primary has a few thick turns and the secondary has many number of turns and the volt current will be stepped down in the secondary and it can be easily measured by the ammeter which will be calibrated to output the current considering the turns ratio considering the transformation ratio again simplifying the diagram it can be seen as a I2 by I1 is equal to N1 by N2 here will be less than 0. So this is a simplified diagram of the current transformer. So you have seen that the current transformer is used to measure uh, the line current by supplying the low voltage amp, low current ammeter and the potential transformer is used to measure the high voltage line current by stepping it down so that it can be measured by a voltmeter in the range of 0 to 150 volt range that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment